JPA applications like Mover use entity objects to represent data in a database. Relational databases provide the ability to define relationships between different types of data. So we need entities that represent those relationships. In this lesson, you'll learn how to define relationships between different entity classes. The easiest way to understand entity relationships is to walk through an example. We'll use one of Mover's features, the ability to track the location of a vehicle over time. Every vehicle has a list of past locations, and every time a ride starts or ends, the current location is added to the list. This feature is implemented with two tables, a vehicles table and a location history table. Location history table has a many to one relationship with vehicle. Any number of location history rows can be associated with a single vehicle row. In the database schema, this is expressed using a foreign key reference in the location history table to the primary key of the vehicles table. But how do we express the same relationship between entity objects in our application code? We'll start by looking at the so-called child entity in that relationship, location history. Specifically, let's look at the definition of the vehicle property. The at many to one annotation indicates the nature of the relationship. Note that the relationship is many to one because we're describing the relationship from the perspective of the location history. We'll look at how to implement the one to many relationship for the vehicle entity in a minute. The at join column annotation is how you specify which column contains the foreign key reference to the parent table. In this example, the join column in the location history table is vehicle ID, which contains the primary key of the associated vehicle in the vehicles table. Now we come to one of the most important ways that entities bridge relational tables to objects. The type of the vehicle property is not UUID, as you might expect if you just extracted the data from the table. The type is vehicle. That is, the vehicle property contains a reference to an instance of the vehicle entity object. The best part is this happens automatically. Whenever JPA instantiates a location history object from the database, it will also create a vehicle entity instance for the corresponding row in the vehicles table. What about going the other direction? What if we want to be able to automatically retrieve a list of location history entities associated with a vehicle entity? This is a little different because the vehicles table doesn't have a foreign key reference to the location history table. So let's look at the vehicle's location history list property. The relationship in this direction is one to many. We want the associated location history rows to be retrieved lazily. That can improve performance because JPA will only query the database when and if a particular vehicle's location history is actually used. If the application never refers to the property, it never performs what could be an expensive query. Lazy execution is actually the default. If you wanted it to always fetch the list immediately when the vehicle is retrieved, you'd specify eager. The map by setting specifies what property in location history entity refers to the corresponding vehicle. Here, we're using the location history vehicle property that we just looked at. Setting the relationship's cascade type to all ensures that if a vehicle is deleted, all the corresponding history will be deleted too. We don't want any orphaned location history records. You can also add additional requirements to the query JPA will run for a property. Here, we're saying we want the location history list to be ordered by the timestamp property in descending order. Finally, note the property type, a list of location history objects that is automatically generated by JPA whenever a vehicle's location history list property is referenced. Let's review. In relational database systems like CockroachDB, you can define relationships between tables. Spring Data JPA lets you model those relationships with entity objects, using property annotations to implement different types of relationships. Whenever you query the database, the correct entities to represent the relationships are created automatically. Hopefully, this lesson will help you get started defining entity relationships. <laughs>